Hello, hello, Facebook and YouTube. This is your girl Stephanie, aka Ed Nihas Tuzababa. Currently doing mid month readings for the month of October. I'm on the sign of Aquarius, so let's hop into your energy. All right, family, please know these readings are general, so the messages may not apply to everyone that watch. If the message apply, good. If it don't, let it fly. So Aquarius, I'm like y'all making a judgment. And y'all putting an end to this wounded warrior energy. Um, or you're letting down your wall. There's something that has been un, um, revealed to you. A clearing has happened. And, you know, you, you know, Spirit just wants you to know that you don't have to fight anymore. I'm feeling it. You don't have to fight anymore. You've overcome your addictions, toxicity. Now you're in the energy, the lover's energy. You know, you're ready to attract in um, the right love. The love that's going to help take you to the next level. Not toxic love anymore. You've done with those karmic relationships. And you're graduated. You're moving up. Moving on up. All right, so um, let's, let's get into your energy. Divine places of unconditional love, light, peace, wealth, health, and prosperity, and everything positive and good, and for the highest good for Aquarius. What messages do you have for them? Divine forces of unconditional love. What messages do you have for the sign of Aquarius? All right, so maybe there's just a toxic relationship that you know you've put it into and now they're they're really wanting you back like bad because i'm just saying that because of the song playing let's see if the reading reflects that I just, I they like i can't make it without you judgment so are you going to take this person back it did say i mean it did seem as though that you're gonna let your walls down you might be letting your walls down with the past relationship looks like you are we got the leap of faith aquarius judgment you're making a judgment to take that leap of faith this person may have healed maybe they're they're this person that's wanting to come back now is no longer toxic you know maybe they've done the work needed Ugh, i was sitting on my knee is that any longer she's an old bitch <laughs> i don't think i can make it you did just get the nine of swords though i mean because you you're you're thinking in your head he's like you know i've been here I've been here. I've done this. Are you going to hurt me again? Are you going to do the same dumb shit again? Because I can't take that anymore. There's a lot of passion here. A lot of sexual uh, passion. For sure. A lot of chemistry between you two. Could be a Sagittarius. Because we have the Temperance card coming out in the middle of your reading. And so the three cards I have here is the Ace of Pentacles. So they want to give you a solid offer. One of abundance, of wholeness, of practicality. And they want to invest this within this relationship. In this new beginning. You know, maybe they know that this is, isn't what they gave you, get, that they didn't give you before. Maybe this is what the Sagittarius is saying. Ace of Cups. They're ready to drop. They want to drop all burdens and just come to you with this unconditional love. Because we have the ace, you know, the 10 reduces to a one. One is the ace. 
and that's coming out right below this ace of wands so we've basically got two aces two ace of wands basically you know because it reduces down you're releasing this burden and you see in this passion this new spark four of wands come on make it without healing didn't I say they heal they want to heal this relationship so let's get um let's get some clarity on all of the main energy here let's clarify this judgment card So the judgment, <laughs> clarify the judgment is the hero fund, a commitment. You want to make this, this is, they want to make this commitment. Clarity on the food card. Tower, sudden revelation. And it's like, and that's probably why the nine of swords here and why you're like, can't sleep. Maybe you were feeling it coming. Maybe, you know, all of this love that this person that was once toxic towards you is bringing you, is just throwing you through a whirlwind right now. The song playing right now is a very passionate song. And we have the ace of uh, wands here. And I did say you guys have a lot of chemistry. Let's see what this song is about. It says, don't want to go home. <laughs> like y'all gonna get together y'all gonna have so much you know such a good time together my life is yours I'm placing my heart in your hands and I will let you know over and over again I'm giving you my heart my trust, my love, I'm giving you all of lovers. This lover, this love is so powerful and so strong. It, it, it scares you. I was, I'm promising you all of me. And I'm just hoping that you would give your all to me. So this doubt, clarifying this ace of ones, this doubt that you once had, putting an end to that. All to me. Can't lie, I'm addicted to loving you. They addicted to loving you. You are my favorite drug. I can't get enough. It's just too much to bear. I don't want to experience it no time soon. Knight of Cups and the Six of Cups. These, this is an apology and a reconciliation card. Coming out. Clarifying this this temperance card, the Sagittarius energy, bringing you this Ace of Pentacles, this physical gift, this solid offer, wanting to invest in this new beginning, want to invest correctly, but sending you this love, investing with this apology, and like I said, the Six of Cups, this reconciliation card. Oh, to me, I vow to show show love, never to give up. No matter what I do, I will respect you and I hold you, I always console you. I swear I'll never let you down because ain't a man out there as prepared for you. And I'm your man. Understand, I'm prepared to do anything. I'm prepared to do. And I. I'm promising you all of me, yeah. 
justice card on top of the ace of cups justice you hear me on top of the ace of cups this is the love you deserve that's why this nine of swords coming out here with the lovers card he's like oh my you don't even you don't even feel like you worthy of it but you are so don't don't do that shit aquarius don't do that shit Ten of one. Wow. Ten of ones. You y'all releasing this burden of, you know, whatever had you know transpired in the past, and you're ready to build together. You're ready to build together. And we have the four of ones here. Let's see what's clarifying this four of ones. Another ace. Y'all got all fucking aces. We got the ace of wands. We got the ace of pentacles. The ace of cups. And here come this ace of swords right here. Four of swords. Let's clarify the four of swords. I don't even know. Gosh, Ten of Cups. This person is ready to heal this relationship and build a family with you, okay? Bottom of the deck, Six of Motherfucking Pentacles. If it was unrequited love before, it's not anymore. It's not anymore. This person is all the fuck in. There's nothing holding them back anymore. If they were married, they about to get divorced. Aquarius, like... God damn. What the fuck you do to this person? This was a dope ass reading. Can I claim my cusps? My cuspy? Because I'm a Capricorn, okay? I'm, I'm claiming Capricorn. <laughs> okay. Angel. Oh, we got three cards. Angel of Union. I can't make this shit up. Like, I've no, I don't think I've ever really said that in the reading because I'm so used to readers saying like I can't make this shit up. But this, like, I can't make this shit up. Like, I, I mean, there's no other phrase or sentence I could use that is better fitting than that. You know, a partnership is blessed and destined for greatness. God of the underworld, something which no longer serves you is about to end. Maybe that insecurity or feeling like, you know, you don't you're not deserving of love or you're not going to be able to make this this partnership last. You're not maybe you're not feeling like you're worthy, but spirit, you're supported. Look at that. And then don't don't forget, I forgot to, you know, I saw the temperance card as a person, as a, you know, a person, not just an energy, but as an energy. This is your ancestors. You know what I'm saying? surrounding you letting you know that we got you we got you they in the center of this reading we got you we working everything out this didn't say it's destined destined for greatness so if anything is destined it has much to do with your ancestors okay angel of support the, the universe has heard your silent call for help angel of expression express Speak your truth and express yourself clearly. Maybe that's what this person is about to come in and do. Goddess of the shadows. What you perceive to be your dark side holds a hidden treasure. Bottom of the deck. Angel of self-worth. I was wanting this card to be there. Like, because then the you know, cause it had the star on there. And it, you know, I thought I shuffled again. Maybe I didn't, but anyway, we know the star is uh, Aquarius energy. It says you are currently undervaluing yourself. It's time to regain your self-worth because this, uh, this, uh, crazy cosmic love is about to come in. So you most definitely is going to have to build up your, um, uh, self-worth because this is not just going to be any kind of lightweight type person. I feel like this is going to be like a really kind of high profile type person. So you can't be you know half stepping in you know 
playing around, <laughs> you know? You just gotta be confident in just who the fuck you are. You, just, you don't have to do anything other than be confident in, in who you are and know that you're worthy just as you are. All right. That's what I have for you. Hope they helped in some way, shape, form of fashion, Aquarius. If you like the reading, please like, share, and subscribe. Um, if you want to donate monetarily to the channel, uh, my cash app tag will be in the description box below. Um, other than that, I love you all. And until next time.